Hi guys, I'm Aussie Bill and welcome to Season 5, Episode 3 of the First Star Challenge with Legion United as we look to win the Champions League with the club for the first time. And today we have two home games against Burnley in the league and then against Red Star Belgrade in the Europa League. Now I thought we'd start today with a quick update of the dressing room uh, and you can see here Dynamics... To be honest, they've never looked better. Uh, really, really good team cohesion. Very good team cohesion. Excellent dressing room atmosphere that has dropped off just a little bit lately. And Manjiro support, again, very good, but has just dropped off ever so slightly lately. Um, but there's really nothing to worry about here. We're in a really, really good spot off, uh, uh, in the dressing room. See, they're the team leaders. It's uh, Phillips, it's Onana, and it's Harling. Now, Cooper has dropped off. He is less effective as a captain now, putting out dressing room fires for me. Um, so we're either going to need to play him more. Or more likely, uh, this may be his last season at the club. He is still the best leader that we have, but if he's not as a not there as a, literally as a team leader, um, then he kind of loses his uh, you know his usefulness to me. So we'll see how that goes. If we look at support, uh, only one of the team leaders supports me, which is a little bit annoying to be honest. But generally across the board, we have good support from the dressing room, which is good. And social groups, I'd like them to come together a little bit more. Um, but it just kind of is what it is right now. We'll we'll kind of deal with it as best we can. Uh, and happiness, again, uh, for the most part, I think we have a lot of satisfied players. I'm not quite sure what Onana's dissatisfied about. Um, is dissatisfied with how the club is doing? I don't know why that is. Anyway, anyway, uh, we've got two games to catch you up on since last episode. The first being our trip to Norwich in the league. We took the lead in the 22nd minute when Jared Bowen kept his composure to score at the second attempt. And we doubled our lead when Haaland finished the goal mouth scramble. Norwich pulled one back midway through the second half. But we secured the points when Bavarde and Mariba combined to tee up Renia. So there we go. A really, really good win. We looked really, really good going forward. A little bit open at the back for my personal taste. But essentially we got the job done. There was a Jared Bowen injury in this one. Uh, it was, I think it was a two or three weaker at the time. Uh, he's almost back. We might even get to see him in the Red Star game uh, today, but he will definitely be out for the first one. Um, but otherwise, a really, really good game. Uh, even Haaland was getting in the goals again. I don't know what's happened to him this year, but I like it. I've got to say, I really, really like it. All right, one other game to catch you up on. We hosted Sheffield United in the Carabao Cup third round. Did we progress? Sheffield United got a first half red card, and Marley Phoenix gave us a second half lead with his first Leeds goal. Sheffield pegged us back immediately. But Gary Turpy poked home to quickly re-establish our lead. And we secured progression in stoppage time when Baker crossed for Under to get his first goal for the club. We did, eventually. Should have been a lot more comfortable than it was. Uh, their early red card, it looked really, really harsh to me, but it definitely helped the situation. But otherwise, we got there in the end. Uh, Marley Felix with a first for the club. Turpy and Under again with a first goal for the club as well. Um, you can see it just we just didn't play well up front. We tried Liao out on the left wing to just try and get him a game. It didn't work. Uh, Edmondson up top was a bit of a muppet. Um, Thomas uh, uh, williams Aski, we gave him the game in goal. Looked okay. Uh, to be honest, so that's good to see. But you can see there, we absolutely dominated the game. We deserve to win. Um, obviously, that's helped, again, by the red card, obviously. We did get the draw for the fourth round. You can see there, we're at home to West Ham. Uh, West Ham are a Premier League team, so it won't be the easiest, but you'd, you'd like to think we could get the job done there. Uh, a quick update at the league table, and we will see that with a game in hand, we are three points back of top, who's Man United. So if we were to win against Burnley, and we have a bit of a dodgy record against Burnley, to be honest, but if we were to win, we'll go to 17 points. We'd have to win by at least the goal, obviously, so that would put our goal difference ahead of them. So a win against Burnley will send us top. Um... Anything else, well, well, the worst we can do is third, really. So we're still in a really, really good position. But Burnley to start the season, albeit early days, but they are struggling down there at the bottom of the table. So we'd like to think we could do something against them. Europa League table, obviously, we'll be playing that second game of, this, of the episode. Um, a win at home to Red Star would set us up very, very nicely in the group indeed. But let's go and have a look and see what we're doing here against Burnley. We are at home. We are the favourites. Um, you can see there, a bit of a mixed record. Six games. We've only we've won three, drawn two, and, and lost one. Um, that doesn't tell that even the wins we've had against them. They've always given us a really, really tough game. There's still a Sean Dyche coach team. He's 10 years there now. Um, he really is quite good, isn't he? You'd like to see what he could do if he got a sort of, a, not a proper club, you know what I mean? Like a, a, a more finance club in real life. Uh, whether he'd probably just be another Sam Allardyce though, wouldn't he? You, you do get that feeling about him sometimes. Anyway, they're a balanced direct playing style. They do press urgently. Um, this is how they played against uh, West Ham. We are expecting them to go out in the 4-4 
uh, to formation. Uh, we can see that they do like to attack down the wings, but quite narrow defensively. Passing network there uh, and their key passes as well tend to be from inside. Uh, they, you know, they're not really knocking too many long balls over our heads. So, you know, we'll bear that in mind. But this is the team we're sending out. It is, uh, it's hopefully a good enough team. It's Onana in goal. It's Zagre, Pong, Granich, Wood and Coyle as the back four. Uh, Phillips and Mariba go in midfield. It's Under uh, in down the right to play with Reina and uh, Valvake down the left. <clears throat> Excuse me. Haaland goes up top. He's in really good form. This attacking target man seems to be working for him. Let's hope it continues. So there we go, everybody is playing as expected. Nothing has happened actually, Reyna is really beginning to look like he's settling in. So let's hope that that continues. Pick up where they left off. Um, we've been in a good run lately boys, just go out there and impress me. I'm continuing to go with the stronger team in the league as opposed to the Europa League. Um, I think we'll persist with that at least through the group stage and at you know, whilst we're looking relatively comfortable. Uh, it's a good opportunity to give the young players a game. Um, and we, we have to rotate anyway, you know, we can't have the same team playing every game. So if we keep the same players playing all the time, hopefully they'll start to develop some relationships as well. Uh, and we can we can go from there. Reina, there's a good ball out there for Valveke. He's of course in for Bowen for this one. Good ball back and Haaland! There's the Haaland we know and love. Missing a sitter in the opening minute. That was a really, really good chance. You'd back him on the recent form. You'd back him to put that in. And Valveke did really well there as well, didn't he? And let's not forget the ball by Reina to find him, of course. Um, here we go, a Burnley highlight now, it looks like. Can we win the ball high up? We're putting a bit of a press on here. Go on, boys, go on, pressure them. No, they've played through that. Oh, heavy touch. We're just not quite there quick enough. Coyle, though, does get the job done. Reyna, infield, there it is for Mariba. Mariba's actually started the season quite well as well. Harling loses out at the back there, though, and is this going to be a Burnley highlight after all? Can we get a tackle in here, boys? Espetito. Brings it forward. I said that perfectly. <laughs> Rain is doing a good job. There it is there. Velvake gets back to Marco Connor. Can we get it? This is not looking good. It's a lungy tackle. Is that a penalty? It's, oh, we're all over the shop defensively. We've got a good block in there. And Nathan Wood hacks it clear eventually. Not the best defending there, though, boys. Come on. We'll give them another get creative. Try and inspire their creative juices. Come on. We are still attacking. That's a Burnley highlight. They look as though they're just coming back into this. That's a shocking free kick. Onana claims it easily. Surely not the highlight. Now, not, don't do anything stupid here, please. Onana looks like he wants to do something stupid, doesn't he? He does well in the end. Throws it out there for Coyle. Coyle throws it out there for Unda. What can he do getting forward here? Can he pick a pass? Will he go himself? It's a wonderful ball for Haaland. Oh, what is that? Elf Erling Haaland. Go at this near post here, mate. You didn't have to go across the goalkeeper. He's missed an absolute sitter. The corner comes in. It's not great. Wood retrieves it. Is the highlight going to continue? No, it is not. Erling Haaland. What was that? It was a wonderful ball through. Goal gaping. And instead of... We saw last episode, he tucked a beautiful composed finish away. That's the old Erling Haaland just whacking his foot through it straight at the goalkeeper. At least he didn't go over the bar, I suppose. Here we go with Renier getting forward again. Another goal in there for uh, Unda. Unda! Wunder goes over the bar. Here all week, here all week. All right, come on. Suddenly, it's lots and lots of highlights with good win there by Coyle Harland. There's a cracking ball for Unda. Can he square one? Will he go himself? He does. It's Harland. And again, Erling Harland, mate. We're going back to last season's Harland. That's, it should, we should be 3-0 up just on Erling Harland's sitters that he's missed. Um, do we need to take him off, I wonder? Uh, it was, yeah, I mean, I'll say it's disappointing. The rest of the team's not doing too badly. That one moment of sort of dodgy defending we got away with. But Erling Haaland, mate. Come on. All right, here we go. Another goal kick for Burnley. I think we'll give Haaland one, one more chance. And if he doesn't stick a chance away, we, we'll have to take him off. Um, it, it's still nil-nil. You know, the game's in the balance and it should be dead and buried. Are we going to go and fall behind now? That would seem like the sort of thing that we do, wouldn't it? That's way too much space. Luckily for us, it's not the best shot. Uh, what if we just give it a calm down here? What if we're a little bit too amped up for this and we're not taking chances? Under. Oh. Always bending away, wasn't it? Um. Yeah. Uh, he hasn't really had another chance yet, has he? Come on, boys. Let's give it another get creative. And... Uh oh, is he just going to save himself here? Come on, boys. Come on. Nice, good build-up play, and then a nice finish at the end of it. Here we go. Renier getting forward. He's got space in there to work. 
gets tackled away. That should be easy. Mariba picks it up. Come on, boys. Here we go. Renia. Two men on him. He goes past them both. Can he get a square ball in there? He goes edge of the area. It's Mariba. Oh, that is stunning from Elax Mariba. Third goal of the season. Renia's build-up play was quite nice as well, wasn't it? Let's give it a demand more, perhaps. Uh, but look at this from Renia. Two players there. Goes past them both. And then has the vision to pick up Mariba, who, again, has just found himself on the edge of the area in space. Goalkeeper gets a hand to it. But it's not enough, is it? It was too powerful for Mariba. And it's 1-0, Leeds United. And that does send us top of the table. We are going to take off uh, Erling Haaland, I think. Can he get that away for us? Oh, what is that defending? Haaland is having an absolute nightmare. He's missing defensive headers now. We, we can't afford that. So off you go, mate. Edmondson will come on. And... Yeah, it, let's just pretend this game didn't happen as far as Erling Haaland is concerned. Because it was this was very definitely a flashback to last season. For some reason, he has not shown up today. Uh, let's give it a show some passion here, boys. Valvake is looking a little bit tired there. Under to knock the corner in. What can we do? It's decent. It's headed away. It's Oh, it's stuck in. Is it Renia? Edmondson has, for some reason, knocked it down to Renia, but it's worked in the end. Renia gets his third goal for the club, and Ryan Edmondson does get the assist. I don't really know what he was doing here. It's like he's like he's got a defensive header, but it's worked out. That's fine. We'll take it, but I don't really understand what was going on there. We have come straight back. It's the 80th minute. What we don't want to do now is give them a way back into the game, but this taking early Harlan off has almost had an instant uh, result there for us, hasn't it? Here we go, Burnley. It's a good tackle from Zagre. Mariba to play it out. Rovake there for Renia again. Renia goes early for Edmondson. Can he get a goal of his own? Edmondson! No, but it's put behind by the keeper, and we'll get another corner from that. Uh, let's give it a concentrate, perhaps. Just make sure that we don't give this away. Phillips is there. Hat-trick hero on the first day, of course. Opening day of the season. Here we go, Renia again. Oh, Renia, that is absolutely magical. He just didn't have the finish at the end of it that time. But he is looking a very, very good player right now. He's uh, looking everything Erling Haaland has not looked this game, if we're honest. But this uh, should be relatively comfortable now. That's been a really good performance. Five minutes of stoppage time, so maybe it's not quite done yet. Under, oh, couldn't quite. Couldn't quite get that one. What we don't want to do is give them a way back in here, do we? Um, if they were to score now, it's going to be a nervy last few minutes. Oh, it's decent. Pogrenic is there. Knocks it away. Renier, is he going to get to that? Yes, he is. He goes past his man, kind of. It's going to fall for Edmondson, though. Can Edmondson team up again? Edmondson does square it. It's oh, it's okay there for Mariba. Mariba for Phillips for Zagre. Zagre goes in and it's off the post, is it? Or was it a save? Either way, it's a corner. And uh, we've really, really looked good going forward here, haven't we? Under knocks it in. It's Edmondson and it's over the bar. But that should that should now be enough to see us through. Um, I mean, you think as I said, Erling Haaland takes his chances. That's that's five nil. Uh, so that's been a really, really good performance. Um, I'm just going to say, well done, boys. So Leeds go top of the Premier League. Well, I clicked on Leeds United, not the, the news item there. But there we go. Renia, look at that. Seven dribbles. He's looking, as I said, he had really, really a really slow start. But, you know, it's, you know, it was the first couple of games. But he has kicked on massively. And he is looking every bit a world star right now. Not just a Leeds United star, but like a genuine world star. And he did have a release fee, didn't he? 120 million. Um, I don't think we're quite at those levels just yet, but if he keeps up this form, that just might be triggered, you know. Guys, wait right there. We'll be back for Red Star Belgrade in Europe. We are top of the league. I said we are top of the league. We are top. Hello? Oh, Mr. Ratriani, sir. To what do I owe the honour? Oh, yes, sir. Thank you. I'm also very pleased with uh, with the start that we've made. You know what, sir? I wouldn't be too worried about it. Just a bit of an off day for Erling, I think. A contract extension? Yes, sir. I'd really like that. Okay, welcome back. And we have a new five-year deal at the club. Very, very nice indeed. 85 grand a week. How much? I would love to make that in two years. Never mind a week. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Anyway, five-year contract. Hopefully, this will see us through to the Champions League uh, Champions League win that we crave. I'd like to think that we, we have essentially the team in place to do it now. It's just a matter of them sort of developing, getting better as the young players they are, and then hopefully uh, taking us all the way. But uh, we're not Champions League worried about that right now. We're worried about the Europa League, and we are about to host Red Star in the group stages. Um, we are the favourites, which is good. We've never played them before. Uh, we can see there. 
they lost their first game at home to Feyenoord, so they're going to be desperate for a result here. We don't know too much about them. I don't have the Serbian league loaded up, unfortunately. This is how we're expecting them to play. Uh, this is, of course, their 2-1 defeat to Feyenoord. We can see there they're quite compact. Uh, goalkeeper likes to <laughs> likes to keep the ball, apparently. Uh, we can see there um, like to pass out from the back as well. No key passes in that game, so that's maybe something uh, creativity lacking there. But this is the team that we're sending out. It is almost all change. Uh, just the two players that uh, that stay in the team for this one. So Onana goes up top. It's Brad Darich, Felix, Suta, and Juan Basaka. Our first look at him on the channel. He goes in at right back for this one. It's McCalmont and Bogac in midfield. Baker, the youngster, are down the right with Alina and Bowen fit again on the left. Haaland stays in for this one. Hopefully he'll get a goal. The main reason for that, if we look at the fatigued players, uh, Liao is fatigued and so is Edmondson. So I'm not quite sure why they're fatigued, but they are. So we're not going to risk them. Uh, Haaland, he's fit to go. He can go up top. There is an international break coming up. We have a Newcastle on the weekend in game and then there's an international break. So uh, we're not too far away from... Um, you know, from getting a break in anyway. So I'm not too concerned about Harling playing this one, especially after the last game. He probably needs a game to get a goal, doesn't he? Uh, Jardim says, tell the team inspector to pick up where they left off. Um, all right, let's 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 go with Jardim on that one. We were relatively good against Burnley, weren't we? That was a really promising performance from us, I think. Hopefully, uh, well, more of the same would be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, and if Erling Harling can put away his chances, we could do anything here. But back at Ellen Road... Um, yeah, it will be interesting to see how we do. Hopefully, we can get the 90 minutes out of Bowen. He did only just come back from injury. Uh, but again, uh, Valvarke and um, and uh, the other guy. Here's a good chance here for Haaland. Kenny, oh, it's going to... No, not quite. Um, and Unda, they were both match fatigued as well. So, we'll stick him in for this one. Good ball in, headed away though. It's there for Baker, the youngster. Can he put his foot through one? It's on the wrong foot for him. He tries with his left, doesn't work. Marley Felix is there, McCalmont for Bogac. Back for Suto. This is good ball movement. It's there for Bowen. And straight at Borja. Now he's a Canadian guy, isn't he? I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, he is. So there we go. Uh, looks like we might have a little bit of defending to do here. Nope, McCalmont hacks that clear. Can Harling get onto that? No, he can't. But the second ball is picked up by Alina. He finds Harling. Harling! Oh, he's off the post. That's unlucky. That looked a much more confident finish too, didn't it? Really, really unlucky from our big Norwegian there. But absolutely dominating the game. The only thing missing right now really is the goal, isn't it? Another highlight. Come on, boys. Come on. What can we do here? What can we do? Can we win this back, please? Not just yet. Uh, Rado Vanovic. That's a, that's a Serbian name for you, isn't it? San Jose brings it forward. Oh, it's nicked that. Alina's done really, really well. Can he play in Harling again? Can he play in Harling? He's got himself. Square it back, mate. Oh, it's there. Ha! Eventually. Eventually, Alina found him. I think he may have found him via the post. I'm not sure. But Alina did really, really well. He was just maybe a little bit selfish at the wrong time there. Uh, but in the end, he's done really well to nick possession. It was quite a poor touch, really, wasn't it? He's done beating his man, a little bit of luck there. And what happened here, he's... I think he has gone to pass it back and it's hit the goalkeeper, perhaps. But either way, eventually we did the right thing. We got the goal. We're 1-0 up. And can we go and double that advantage now? Onana plays out from the back. Suta brings it forward. Come on, boys. Let's see what we can do. Here's Juan Basaka. First look at him with the ball at his feet. There's a good ball forward for the youngster. Baker in there for Bogac. Bogac with a ball out there for Haaland. Can he pull one back? He's got men around him. Basaka's there. Can he get a cross in? He goes for Baker. Baker back for Basaka. It's decent. Alina's there and he's header. It's easy for the keeper in the end, really, isn't it? Uh, but that's okay. Here we go again. Highlight to continue. Can we win that? No, we can't. And I don't particularly like where this is headed. Juan Basaka gets back, makes a really good tackle. And can we go at them again? Bogac lumps it forward. Haaland chases it down. Erling Haaland. Has he got another goal in him? Yes, he has. He saved all these goals for Europe. And it is 2-0. A sixth goal now for Erling Haaland. And maybe, uh, but, uh, what were they? Burnley. Maybe Burnley was just a little bit of a, a little bit of a, just a bad game for him. Um, but that's much, much better. Good early ball forward. We're not going to call it a long ball um, because we don't play long balls. We're a good footballing team. But Bogac lumps it forward. Harlan on the chase and it's 2-0 to uh, Leeds United. Um, there's no one on the bench with particular... Actually, no, there is. I want to give Gary Turpy some game time if we can, second half. McCalmont's done well there. Good ball in. It's hacked clear. Can we be first to that? We can. Marley Felix brings it forward for Bogac. 
Back for Felix. He's a little bit too far forward there, mate. He tries to get back. Eventually, he finds Brad Darich out there on the left. Can he get a cross in? He's toying with his man. It's Alina. It's Harlan. It's Bowen. Bowen, can he find Harling back post? No, it's Baker back post, and the youngster gets his first goal of the season. Go on, David Baker. It's another academy graduate on the score sheet in Europe. Excellent stuff. It's 3-0, 27 minutes in. And we're looking a really good attacking team this year, aren't we? Which is, it's, I don't understand too much why this has happened. Not Like last year, we could not score to save ourselves. I don't know if it's just that everybody's a year older. If it, I don't know what it is about us this year. But we just look really, really good going forward. And at times, to be honest, we look terrible at the back. Uh, it might be playing with a number 10. Um, I mean, that'll do it, won't it? You, you, I, but we did that at times last year as well, didn't we? So I don't, I don't really... I don't really understand but what's what the difference is, but long may it continue. Harland, mate, go and... Uh, no, you're not going to be bothered closing him down. That's fine. You're not a pressing forward anymore. You can get away with that sort of stuff. If you're scoring goals, you can get away with a lot. And that is off the post and a little bit of luck. Might just need to give them a concentrate shout. We've essentially dominated the game, but that was... That was just a moment there that could have... It's just given them a way back in. Let's get a, a concentrate coming into half time here. If we can get in at 3-0... Um, give them a little bit of a, of a team talk and then hopefully get back out there for the second half. Um, all right, what do we do? What do we do? Their performance has been excellent. I'm going to say don't get complacent, boys. Things can still turn around here. Uh, and let's face it, there's a few of us looking a little bit complacent, isn't there? So, <laughs> so there we go. Here we go from the corner. Alina knocks it in. Decent. It's Suta. It's back post. It's uh, Someone's got to be offside there, surely. It's not... It's a little bit of head tennis there. I think it was Suta to Haaland. Haaland back to Bowen. And Bowen has eventually put it in the back of the net. 40-odd seconds into the second half. The perfect start. And now we start thinking cricket score, don't we? Really, really good stuff there from the corner. We're going to say that's one from the training ground. We'll give them some praise. And hopefully we're going to keep our heads here and not uh, get carried away with that lead. We have a real opportunity here, don't we? We Getting an early goal in the second half like that, you just wonder if we could really go on and run up a score in the second half here. Um, but time will tell. I haven't seen a score come through from the other game, Feyenoord, Fenerbahce. I may have just missed it. Um, but given that... I mean, Feyenoord did win in Serbia, but they only won 2-1, so you do wonder... That's not the best clear. It's going to be picked up by Brad Darich. Another chance of a goal here. Baker, he's got men in the middle. Pick out Alina, it's blocked. It's, oh, they got in each other's way. Bogac and Alina's got in each other's way, and are we going to get hit on the break as a result of that? We've done well to get back. Bogac, can he win the ball? No, it's just cleared in for, it looks like a line out there. Just a touch fine and nothing more than that. Um, yeah, so you'd like to think that if Feyenoord didn't give them a bit of a touch-up, then perhaps uh, that's a good sign for us moving forward in the group that we are going to comfortably be the strongest team. You, looking at the group, you would kind of think that anyway, wouldn't you? Um, you know, a top top five, six Premier League team would get that group and think, yeah, we're, we're the best team in this group. So, um, yeah, we'll just kind of we'll see how we go here. But obviously, if we can get the win here, if we can win our next game, get us to nine points early on, then that is, I mean, this, and this is essentially a backup team anyway. So, you know, we are in a really, really good position. What we could start to do then is we could start to uh, it could be a little bit more experimental and have some of the some of the youngsters. Um, we could bring, like, for example, Max Dean could play again. Um, the problem that I almost have is that the youngsters that we aren't playing. Oh, Harland! Harland's got himself a hat trick. No, there's an offside flag in there. I think was it Bowen? Yeah, someone did just look a little bit offside in the build up to that. Let's have another look at that. Yeah, Bowen's gone early, and he was just offside. Unlucky. Um, decent finish from Haaland, not the best goalkeeping we'll ever see, but this has been, this has been really, really good, hasn't it? All right, an hour mark, that's good enough for me. Let's get Noah Kenny on for McCalmont, and let's get Gary Turpy on for Bogac. Uh, I don't know that we want Turpy as a play, advanced playmaker, so what we might do is that, and then we'll put Harling in, uh, Harling, what's his name? Alina in as the advanced playmaker, drop him back to support. If Turpy's box to box, he should get past him, um... And that gives two of our youngsters some game time here. Um, another thing we could do if we are looking as though we're going to comfortably top the group is we could play uh, Askey, Williams Askey, whatever his name is, as, as the keeper as well. Uh, and that would give Anana a rest. Bowen, oh, that's a stunning header from Jared Bowen. Aaron Juan Vasaka with the cross. It is 5-0 now. We are really, really looking good here. Um, 
and to be fair, Red Star look a very... I don't, know if, I don't know if we're making them look bad or if they're just a bad team, but wan has done well there. And what about the header from Jared Bowen? That's stunning. Fourth goal of the season for him now, and I don't think he got four goals all of last season, did he? We are really, really racking up the goals this season, loving what we're seeing. Jared Bowen, there it is. Harland, he's flicked it on. It's... Oh, Baker there, the youngster. It's got to be. No. Just enough defenders around to prevent the goal going in there. Uh, I'd give Liao some game time, but he's match fatigued. I don't want to... I don't really want to take anybody else off. What we could do, actually... Wan-Bissaka's looking a little bit tired, and he's been a little bit injury-prone. There's a good header. Oh, it's Erling Haaland. Is that a hat-trick for Erling? I think it might be, you know. It is a hat-trick. A perfect hat-trick as well. Left foot, right foot header. Seventh goal for the season. Now, Erling Haaland, he got seven goals last year. I'm almost sure of it. And he's already got seven, and we're barely in September. What a season this is being. A really, really good header. A cracking ball in from Brad Darich as well, wasn't it? And what we might do with Wan-Bissaka, given that he is a bit of a sick note, we'll bring Dean on for him. And we can just uh, put Suto over to the right. And that, again, gives another one of the academy players. That's how many academy players on the field now? One, two, three, four. Excellent stuff. Edmondson probably would be on the field as well, actually, had, uh, had he not been match fatigued. So that would be five academy players. We've got a really good academy, don't we? Here we go with Turpy. Over the top there for Baker. Baker nods it back for Suta. Can he get a ball in? Johnny Suter. It's back for Noah Kenny. Kenny spreads it nicely up there for Brad Darich. Can Brad Darich get himself a goal? He lines it up. It's Baker. And he just can't quite manage it. And it goes over the bar. Closing minutes of the game here now. But 6 to nothing. What a European performance. A hat-trick from Haaland. A double from Bowen. And a nice goal from David Baker, the youngster, as well. What a performance that is. Ellen Road, I'm sure, will rise as one. We're going to say don't get complacent at the end of that one because that was a little bit too good, maybe. That was the sort of performance that just might go to your heads. But six of the best for Leeds United. More money in the bank. The money in the year is really insignificant, isn't it? But what a performance from Erling Harling. He has redeemed himself well and truly for the Burnley game. Uh, and if we have a quick look at the league tables, the other game ended in a draw. So that's almost a perfect result for us, to be honest, isn't it? A nil-nil stalemate in, uh, in Holland. Uh, and we go ourselves flying six points clear, top of the group, five points, uh, the gap, of course, to make sure we qualify. And we are top of the Premier League there as well. That's a nice thing to see, isn't it? Um, so there we go. If you have enjoyed that, guys, please do hit thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And we will be back next time. Uh, we'll come back, I think, for Feyenoord at home and Chelsea away in the league. That is essentially, um, well, if we win that, that could essentially get us through the group, couldn't it? Uh, all but sort of or about the sort of the, the final the crossing of the T's and dotting of the I's. And then Chelsea away. They are sixth in the Premier League. And I have a feeling they're going to be a very, very good team this year because they spent big uh, in the summer. Uh, although you wouldn't know looking at it. They've uh, only won four of their three games, but they have lost to Arsenal and Liverpool. So they've lost maybe acceptable games to lose. Um, so that's for next time, guys. If you have enjoyed that, please do hit thumbs up. Eight goals. I don't think we scored eight goals all last season on YouTube, did we? So much, much better. I'll be Nazi Bell. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care.